Hello, in this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how to how to install Oracle Apex 5 in Oracle Database 12C. Our 12C database is installed in Oracle Linux, which uh, is in the installed in a VMware. In my uh, first video, I have uh, demonstrated how to install Oracle uh, A12C release 1 in the Oracle Linux 6 Oracle Linux 6.5 now we're going to install Apex in the same database to do that you have to download you have to download Oracle Apex from OTM You have to download Apex from OTM. Now the latest version is 5.0.3. I have already downloaded this and I have uh, stored it in uh, here. C, C, D, T, M, P, L, S. See, this is the downloaded file, zip file. You have to unzip it when this is extract in the Apex folder. Now you will have to uh, be into that folder, cd apex. Now let's see cwd. My present working directory is this, and what is stored here? These are the execution files. These are the files which, are, which will be executed uh, when I uh, issue some commands. And these are the folders: images folder, utilities folder, core builder, something, etc. Here, images. The images folder contains all the uh, static contents like. JavaScript files, CL, uh, CSS files, and images and templates, etc. This image folder will be used later. Now, what we will have to do is we will have to log into SQL Plus with CSDBA privilege. SQL Plus as is DBA okay let's see our for uh, for installation of Oracle Apex we will have to uh, use three table spaces two is a data table space and one is temporary table space, table space. Uh, two table spaces are used one for uh, storing the Apex related data and one for storing Apex files, the, the files that are used in uh, in the Apex itself. So let's see how many, uh, what are the tables that we have in the database. Select name from B dollar table space. See, we have created a table space called Apex data. And this is the table space, table space we will use in the installation. And also, our database default table, uh, uh, temporary table space 10 will be used in the installation. So let's begin with the installation. What you will have to do is you have to mention at at character and write the name of the uh, a P A P X A P E X I N S dot S Q L. This is the file you have to call in the SQL Plus with this syntax: Apex data, Apex data, tem, and i. Now, what does this command mean? This one means that you are calling 
to execute the instruction written in this SQL file and which will take these four parameters. Number one is table space one, which one uh, will store all the Apex related data. And this one, this table space will be used for storing all the files that we will, uh, will use. Files like JavaScript files, CSS files, or images. And this is the temp. Temp is the temporary table space. Yes, you could uh, you, uh, use your own temporary table space for Apex data. But here in my installation, I have used, I have, uh, used the uh, default table space of the system, which is temp. And this one is very important. This is the uh, installation. Uh, this is the virtual drive. This virtual drive uh, will be used for loading the data. You see, all the uh, content, static content will be stored here. Now, see, this is the command. Remember, you have to, you must uh, specify all the parameters. Otherwise, this will not uh, work and uh, the system will ask for the appropriate parameters. So, we're going to start the installation right now. Apex INS, Apex data, Apex data. See, I have the I have mentioned same table space name twice. What does it mean? You could uh, use different table space names here, table space names here. Like uh, I have used Apex data for storing Apex information, and also the same table space for storing files. So that means all the information like Apex data and the file files information will be stored in the same table space. You could use different table space here, but in this table in this installation, I am using the same table space for storing Apex data and files data. Apex files data. Okay, let's begin with the installation now. Okay, we have started installation process. It may take uh, five to eight. The this installation process uh, created a schema called Apex 05 050000, and all the information are Apex related information are in this schema. In the same time, it also created uh, some other users and those users are actually locked we'll have to unlock those users and at the same time we're gonna change the password of those uh, users also so let's do that or uh, use uh, a text public user account Unlock five ten by okay again alter user flows files account Unlock now these two account has been accounts has been unlocked and uh, password of these users has also been uh, changed now there's a tricky part here that we will have to uh, load the images and at the same time we will have to uh, configure embedded pl sql gateway gateway for this, this installation and by the way we are using the basic 
basic types of installation which is embedded peer SQL gateway installation. In this process, we will have to let's see exit. Now we are in the field, we are in the directory here. Now you see there is a directory called images, images and all the images are here. Be very careful in this process, you will have to be in the prior directory before the apex that is let's go to apex twd this is the this is the current directory of the apex installation folder now what you will have to do you will have to go one directory back twd here and we will mention this location while configuring the ETG embedded field SQL gateway. Okay, let's move to CD Apex. Let's ls L. Now we have to load. We will have to load this at okay. Now you see we have we'll have to mention this location. The location just prior to the apex location. Okay. This one has to be clear. So remember this one very carefully. We are now into the apex location. Okay. We are into the apex and while configuring the apex etg config when, when executing this file we will have to mention the folder just prior to apex location. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. Now we will have to do the now the EPG apex etg config script file has been executed. Now what we have to do is we have to unlock anonymous user. Unlock account alter user is Anonymous account six I five five. Okay. Now we will have to see what what is the uh, port default port what is assigned for this apex you see you know uh, when you run epg config file it it uh, allocates port for uh, for you to uh, access the apex application now let's see what is the what is the file what is the port number uh, allocated for us it is 8080 Now, this is 8080. If if you see if uh, uh, it doesn't work, you will have to you will have to mention this operation. Now, our installation is pretty complete. So let's let's run the application from. One nine two dot one six eight dot hundred ten colon eight zero eight zero 
Add okay, let's see. No, Apex. Here we are. The Apex installation is complete. Now we're gonna log into this one. A admin okay so we have to set we will have to set the password for the admin user what we will have to do is uh, we will have to run this script at rate at apx chpwd dot sql just simply run this okay it will ask for the administrator's username by default it is admin so we're going to keep it no problem uh user already exists into the email now email id so it's there it's asking for the email id uh i'll give a, a dummy Hassan dot at at test lab lab dot com something dummy you can mention anything uh, password I'm gonna uh, set a password for the admin user. Okay, so admin user's password has been changed. Now I'm gonna log in here. Admin. We are in. I'm gonna remember it since it's a, it is a uh, tutorial video. So we are into the uh, installation. So this is the uh, installation process. We are uh, we are into the uh, admin panel. Now what we have to do? You have to uh, create some workspace, and when we are not going in details here, we are going to have to uh, first at first to begin with your uh, work, you begin with your development. You will have to create a work and a workspace. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.